Welcome to the channel and welcome to this first episode in a new series. Always an exciting time when you crack open a new series. Uh, we are basically starring as an unemployed manager with good qualifications and we are doing an America's adventure. So we're gonna, we've got, as you can see, we've got all the leagues listed um, that you can play in the game. So we've got um, all the South American leagues, that's Argentina, Brazil, uh, Colombia, Chile, Uruguay and Peru. Uh, we've got Mexico as well. Moving further up, we've got MLS. And further up still, we've got the uh, Canadian Premier League, which was added in the last version of the game. I don't know a single thing about the Canadian Premier League. I will probably end up managing there. Um, we are, as I say, going to start with some good quality qualifications because the idea of the save is it's a glory hunter. We, I want to go and get as many trophies as possible at as many different clubs in as many different countries and leagues as possible um, and obviously if you start with low badges you're not going anywhere so even though I'm gonna have good qualifications and I haven't decided if I'm gonna be continental pro or just below yet I might go just below even if I've got good qualifications I've got no reputation so I'm not gonna get a Sao Paulo or a Boca or a you know a big club like that I'm gonna I'm gonna get a bit at best I imagine a mid-table club um, we have got a custom database as you can see when you load these leagues up initially you have just over 41,000 players on a large database I've gone into a custom database and I've added all the players from South America so we now have nearly 65 and a half thousand uh, players in the database which should hopefully help me a lot um, but next I suppose uh, we get to the job center. We'll, I'll maybe just stop off on the manager profile screen as well, and then we can have a look at the the, uh, the coaching badges and decide uh, how good I'm going to be. I should just mention uh, before we do that, though, of course, uh, the start date of the game. Now it's defaulted to early preseason for Brazil, which is the 7th of December, 2020, which funnily enough, just looking at the date here, oh, I'm almost at the, it probably will be the 7th of December, 2020, by the time this video comes out. So that's a bit freaky. Um, the reason for that, I'm leaving it at that, is because some leagues will already be going. You can see here, Argentina will already be going. Um, I think, I think one of the other South American leagues will already be going as well. Canada, that will already be going. Um, They'll be quite far into their season. Chile starts similar sort of time to us. Uh, so does Colombia. Mexico starts in the summer, so, uh, or the winter for them, of course. Um, 2021, January before Peru comes in. The United States, the MLS, that starts in December as well. And Uruguay starts in January 2021. So there'll be a couple of countries already going. Um, and I just thought that might add a little bit of depth to the job centre. Um, so, yeah. Let's move forward. Right, so I have decided to go with the Continental Pro license, uh, but we've we've just gone with the international continental level rather than global uh, for my playing experience. And this is how we set up. We set up as a tactician style. Um, I'm hoping that might just allow us to, you know, a, a formation to work a little better. I normally have that set to default. I don't normally mess around with that, but hopefully that'll, um, yeah, that'll allow us to get a formation working quicker. Uh, we've gone, I, I never set myself up to be a goalkeeper coach or particularly good at the fitness. I find they're quite easy to get from, um, you know, hiring other staff to do that. I like to have myself set to do the attacking and the defending style, side of things and the technical, working with youngsters. And obviously I'm a tactician, so tactical and mental are quite high, uh, well, extremely high. <laughs> they're 20. They're the highest you could be. Uh, on the other side, I've put, I have put the adaptability up um, because I'm hoping that will help me get jobs in different countries. I'm, you know, uh, determination is pretty high as well. Player knowledge is good because obviously if I'm moving countries, I kind of hope to take some player knowledge with me. Youngster knowledge, not too worried about that. Um, even though I've got, I've got working with youngsters high, but I don't really need the youngster knowledge to be that high uh, because again, I'll get the scouts to do that sort of stuff. Man management, obviously, and motivating a high level of discipline. I don't really know if that has that much impact on a manager in the game because it's me playing the game. So, it, you know, that's just how it is. Um, so we'll get to this. Uh, we will start playing um, and we will get to the job centre and see what we've got. 
So right from the home screen here, we can see there are a lot of jobs already available and a lot of insecure jobs as well. Uh, so we will get into the available jobs to start with. Um, I just need to obviously filter all this and just take out everything other than a manager's job. Um, we don't want reserves or use. I don't think we want, do we want reserves or youth teams? Mm, do you know what we'll leave them in why not we will leave them in right these are the jobs that are available so we have got a job in Colombia Brazil Argentina I'm not going to go to Argentina to begin with um, because it's the league I always manage in when I go to South America I want to go somewhere completely different uh, plus I've got a personal save going on with uh, Estudiantes um, LA Galaxy Atlanta are available that's interesting Atlanta are like the best team in MLS, aren't they? In LA Galaxy, obviously, everybody knows about them. Um, what division is that? The Liga Bet Play de Mayor. Is that the top division? It is. Or is it the, it is the top division, isn't it? I don't know if... Do we know any of these teams? Um, I think I know Deportes Tolima, Deportivo Cali, I know about... Uh, Envigado, I've heard. Medellin, I know about. Uh, Jaguares, um, apologies, I'm trying to get the pronunciations right. I know I'm probably going to get it. Oh, Millonarios, yes, of course. Once Caldas. Okay, okay, so that's the top division in Colombia. So we will ap apply for that. We'll apply for uh, Goyas as well. Can we do, can we select more than one? No, okay. I'm not going to just click apply all, so we'll apply for that. Do not show the message again. We'll apply for Goyas. I'm not going to apply for Himnasia. I am going to apply for. I'm going to. I'm going to take the risk and apply for MLS. And I know I've heard people when they talk about MLS saves, they have no idea what is going on. But that's the beauty of a journeyman, isn't it? If you don't like what you're doing, you can move on. It's not the idea of the save to stay somewhere long term. So that's that's good. Um, we have Atletico San Luis in uh, Liga MX in Mexico, so we will definitely go for that. I really fancy a, a go at um, Liga MX, definitely, definitely. We'll go for Edmonton in Canadian Premier League because I've got a funny feeling I'm going to end up in the Canadian Premier League. Um, let's have a quick look at that, actually. Um, how does... Oh, so we've got a spring season. Oh, God. This is going to be terrible, isn't it? Um, so we have the spring season the fall season and then the final um 14 games in the spring season okay that'll be interesting we'll um, we'll worry about that if we do end up with a job in there uh right what else have we got i don't want the lower leagues in america because mls is going to be bad enough uh, don't mind this Uruguayan second division. I did briefly, a couple of years ago, have a save with Atletico Atenas. I think they are in the second division. Yeah, them. Atletico Atenas de San Carlos. Um, and I quite enjoyed it for the short time that I did it. But it was one of those I lost the interest in quite quickly. Um, so the idea of this, obviously, having it on the channel, means I'll, it'll keep, my, keep me interested. And I, I hope it will for you as well. Uh, we'll go for Nacional. I don't expect to get that. They're one of the big teams in Uruguay. Definitely do not expect to get that. And I'm not going for any of the uh, under-20s jobs just yet for the international. So I think that's all the ones that I'm interested in. Um, as I say, I'm not going for Argentina. Um, I'm definitely, definitely not going for the lower leagues in America. They're just there basically to make up the numbers and bump out the players. And obviously, as we go through, players will come through those clubs. Um, so, right. Let's see if we get any news. Wow. <laughs> that was quick. Um, we have got... Interviews, lots of them. Uh, Gymnasia La Plata have offered me one without me applying. I'm going to decline that because I said I'm not going to Argentina. And I certainly, being an Estudiantes fan, would not go to Gymnasia. That is for sure. Um, I'm not going to do all these interviews on camera. The only one I'm going to do, I'm going to do the Nacional one on camera. Um, just, And then I'll do all the other ones off and we'll let you know of any developments but i'm just gonna do this national one i've not had an interview yet on fm21 i don't know if they're any different to fm20 and previous versions um so let's um let's see let's see what there is because there's a whole body language thing now isn't there so that could play a part um can you explain why you appear to be in the running for a few jobs right now because i don't have one quite obviously um i'm just trying to forge ahead it's yeah 
just trying to forge ahead. We parted company with our last manager much sooner than anybody would have anticipated. Can you offer insurances that you, we won't be in for a repeat of that? Yeah, you're nasty and I'll. I will definitely, definitely, definitely stick around for a couple of seasons. Um, it's my intention to commit to a long and successful career. Um, I'm the sort of manager who wants to win now. Yeah, I'm going to do that because I think that'll work well because I quite like the look of the national job. Um, we might have a look at the squad before I do all the other, you know, have a, look, a, little, a little look at it because this is the one that I want. I didn't expect to get shortlisted for this one. How would you feel about, yeah, um, is he any good as a director of football? No, he's rubbish. I would definitely be wanting to change him. Um, oh, I could say I'm more than happy to work with him and then get rid of him. I think that would be all right. As part of the recruitment process, we are willing to allow you to request changes to our current backroom staff. Um, I don't usually do this. I usually say I'm quite happy. Um, do you see, this is, this is the thing. I don't know what their staff are like, so I'm going to say I'm all right at the minute. Um, these are our objectives. So what we've got, high reputation players, play attacking football, develop players using the club's youth system. Not a problem with that. Maintain the club's status as the most reputable team in Uruguay. If I get, this is like getting the, the, the Barcelona job. This is, this is ridiculous. This is getting the top job in Uruguay. Um, work within the wage budget, that's obviously not even negotiable every club's going to want that uh win the first division title in the yeah in the current season develop the best youth system in the country happy to do that continue to win the the league um there's not anything there i mean this i love play attacking football yes that's exactly that seems perfectly acceptable to me um we have no expectations for you to fulfill you've just told me to win the league um, okay, that's fine. Do you have anything to request for us? Um, I would like the board to expand the stadium. I, don't, I haven't looked at all of the facilities yet, so I'm not. I'm just going to say no. Um, okay, fair enough. That was very vanilla, wasn't it? Let's have a look at them. Let's have a look at them. Are they currently the? They are the current holders. Um, and this, I believe, yeah, it has an opening and a closing um oh are they the let's have a look at the past winners so penny uh, penny roll are the other big club of course and then you do have ones like danubio uh danubio uh defense or sporting uh, as you can see it's basically those three that win the league and generally it's penny roll or nacional um and i know fm grasshopper did uh penny roll um, and loved it. So if I do get the national job, I guess I'm kind of your rival. Um, their captain is Gonzalo Bergesio, who's a striker, a 36-year-old striker, a very aggressive 36-year-old striker. Um, but he's got a better than one in two strike rate for them, and he he, he looks okay. He's five foot ten, so I'm guessing he's a poacher or an advance forward. Don't know about any of that at the minute. The vice captain Gonzalo Castro, he is a winger. Um, a 36-year-old winger. Uh, do they have any players that are not retiring? Adrian Villa is a midfielder who is their key, their hot prospect, sorry. Um, right, okay, let's have a look at the senior squad. Um, Claudio Jakob, name rings a bell, I think. Uh, what have we got in terms of young players? So we've got Matthias Laborda, doesn't look brilliant as a defender. Matthias Suarez? Sounds familiar. On loan from Montpellier. Used to play for defence or sporting as well. He's a right back. Uh, but it doesn't look like the greatest squad in the world. It has to be said. Uh, got a couple of good young strikers maybe. Miliano Vija And Thiago Vecino. Um, yeah, I'm, I don't mind this too much. Uh, we're not... I haven't, I haven't got the, as you can see, I haven't got the in-game editor this year. I'm, I have no need to get it. I needed it last year for the Barcelona series. I'm not getting it this year at the moment because I have no reason to get it. Um, can we, what does it say about their finances? Okay. All right. All right. So they're one of the biggest clubs, but they're not, obviously, they're not a superpower in world football, but they are in South American football. 
and I'm quite excited if I could get this job. That's amazing. Um, but I'll get these other interviews out of the way and we'll be back with any news. Wow, it has only been four days and we already have a couple of bites here. We've got a job offer from Goyas Esporte Club in Brazil, which really, really interests me. Not so much this club, but managing in Brazil, that is definitely something I'm interested in because they have their, their little state championships and a national league as well. Uh, so it could be quite an interesting one. The problem is with Goyas, is they're rubbish. <laughs> um, quite frankly, uh, last season they finished tenth, which is all right. Which is all right in the um, in the Campeonato Brasileiro. Um, I, they finished tenth, which is um, bang on mid table. Uh, but they are at the moment, if you look at the season preview, uh, projected to finish nineteenth, which isn't great, to be fair. Um, I don't know. I don't, I'm, I'm not going to accept it straight away. What I am going to do is I'm going to... Um, I mean, they don't have a captain. They don't have a vice captain. They've got Tado. Tado. Oh, the pronunciations. Apologies. They're going to be butchered. Uh, Spanish ones I'm not too bad with. Portuguese one. Portuguese is a very tough language. Um, Vinicius Lopez is their hot prospect. But again, there's no, there's no stats on him. There's no attributes on him. In terms of the squad... I mean, they've got a fair amount of players, so we could possibly do, looking at that, I'm thinking maybe a 4-3-3, maybe a 4-4-2, maybe a diamond, that sort of thing. Uh, so we've got a couple of defensive midfielders. We have got a couple of wingers. It's the, it's the fact that we've got four strikers, although two of them... Well, one of them's 37, although he might be a legend at the club. No, he's not. That's all right. Ooh, he's he's going to be a target man looking at that. His heading is insane and he's six foot two. So you could end up doing two up front with him. Um, the other one that's obviously come at me as well is FC Edmonton. Now, I've just had a quick look at their staff and I actually don't want to um, do any changes, I don't think. I think we're, we're all right with them as, as things stand. Uh, so I've declined any staff changes. I'm going to... What are they giving me? 5k a week. Two year contract. Promises. No no club job applications. I don't remember making that promise. Or did I say I was looking forward to a long and successful career with them maybe? Ah, Keep director of football in place. He was all right, actually, I think, their director of football. Develop clubs, uh, sign players under the age of 23 for the first. So they like developing players and selling them on. That's how they make their money. Fight bravely against relegation. Win the uh, Goyen out, which I imagine is their state championship. Uh, yeah, it looks like it. Reach fourth round of the Copo do Brasil. And then end of 21 season, become an established Brasileiro team. Wow. You want us to fight against relegation and then become established. I'm going to delay. I'm not worried, worried about the wage. So I am going to delay the decision for a week. And they've agreed to it because I'm hoping, I'm hoping, I'm hoping Nacional might just come for me. And come in for me. They have. They have offered me the job. I am absolutely stunned that I am getting a top top job straight away and um, well I say a top top job they're offering me less than Goyas and um, so there's clearly less money in the Uruguayan league than there is in Brazil which doesn't surprise me and um, they've offered me 2.6k a week which is half basically of what Goyas offered no transfer budget really no wage budget either yeah i've got to sign high reputation players how am i going to do that with 60 grand <laughs> that's just mental um play attacking football that's the one that's really going for me because the the 4-2-3-1 that we've got working reasonably well not as well as it was but reasonably well would suit i think uh, develop players using the club's youth system absolutely maintain the club status as the most reputable team in uruguay should be doable. It is only a one-year contract, which I'm quite liking. Uh, Goyas was uh, a two-year deal. Uh, it does say no club applications, um, which is fine because for a season I wouldn't do anyway. And if a job came up I wanted, I'd just quit. So 
That's all good. End of the current season, I do want to win the Primera División um, and develop the best youth system in the country. I cannot wait to see the youth team and the youth intake then. Um, we've got these two. FC Edmonton approached me as well and have given me a big transfer budget, but absolutely no wage budget. I mean, they just don't tally up, do they? I mean, that's just ridiculous. Uh, but I, I am tempted to manage in Canada as well. I really like the look of that. But the problem with Canada, they've got no matches until April. I'd have to go on holiday for for three, four months. They've got they, they, their game doesn't their season doesn't start till April, I think. Um, National season starts in February, but we've got some friendlies in January, so I'd only have to uh, I'd probably go on holiday for a couple of weeks in this one as well. Um, I'm going to take it. This is the team. This is the team I wanted. This is the job I wanted when I saw it was available. I'm going to take it. We are going to start out in Uruguay. Um, the, I think the main reason they've offered me as well is I have put myself as Uruguayan, born in Montevideo, Nacional are in Montevideo. So it doesn't surprise me that they have offered me the job, to be fair. Um, con yeah, it's a seven month contract up till June. Um, I don't think I want to take it. Oh, seven months. That's not a lot, is it? Well, it's a good start to this, this series, though, isn't it? Because I'll either get an extension or we'll move on. Simple as. That's fine. I'm happy with all of that. I'm going to finalise it. We're going to take it. We have got a job. Um, really, really, really excited about that. Let's have a look. Have we got? There we go. There it is. Club Nacional, the football higher FM. Should that not be F-U-T-B-O-L? Seems unusual they'd have the, uh, the English spelling in a Uruguayan name, but oh well. Um, eyebrows have been raised in the world of football at the appointment of the 41-year-old. Why did you have to put my age in there? Who has recently spent time away from club football and he is sure to face plenty of questions when he faces the media. At the... Yeah, it is, yeah. Um, right, I'm going to end it there because I'm already aware that this video is probably touching 20 minutes and if we do the whole club, looking at the club at night, it's going to get to half an hour and, that, and people are just not going to watch that. So yeah, if you are still watching, thank you very much. Remember to smash that like button, subscribe as well, turn on the notifications so you never miss an episode of any series on the channel. Um, let me know in the comments, is this a good one to take on first off? Um, sorry, FM Grasshopper Tony, sorry. I know you're a pen year old lad. Um, I'm here to take them down. Sorry, it's just the way it is. I'm a national boy now. Um, and yeah, I, I can't wait to get started on this. The next episode will be out very, very soon, maybe even tomorrow. Um, so stick around for that. It's going to be a quick look at the club, the finances, um, some of the players, and some of, more importantly, some of those youth players, because I reckon there's going to be some absolute crackers in there. So yeah, join me, won't you, for that. And I cannot wait to get going now. Come on, Nacional, vamos. I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.